Before I jump into today, into today's episode, excuse me, um, I wanted to address something real quick. In one of my uh, previous videos, I did a giveaway for 100 bucks, and there's going to be more of those giveaways happening. And apparently, some accounts are going around trying to spam people. They're, what they're doing is they're taking my profile picture, my little circular um, icon, and they're making an account with the same picture, and apparently it says text some number. Um, I just want to be clear. I will never ask you to text me. I will never ask for any of your personal information um, directly. All of the giveaways are through an entry site where you enter your name and your email, and if you win, I will only contact you via email. Um, I do apologize for that. Some people just suck, unfortunately, uh, for lack of a better word. So. Just a heads up, I will never ask you for any of that information. If anyone texts you or messages you and says that you won other than an email from my info at Key West Waterman account, um, just know that it is spam, so don't give them any information. So again, sorry about that, uh, but let's get to today's episode. Enjoy. How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. Whenever you're ready, let her down. All right. Down she goes. How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to... How does it do that? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Um, so last time I was out deep dropping, I made a snowy grouper video, kind of commercial. We caught a little bit of everything, but... Um, one of the requests that I had was a tile specific video, so that is what we are doing today. Um, I've got a little different crew with me, you know, Cooking with Clams back here. I've got the man, the myth, the legend, John from Koa. I've got James, master whittler extraordinaire. Uh, it's an inside joke. Um, but yeah, we're out here just kind of goofing off. We're not commercial, we're just, John needed a break from the shop from making spear guns, so we're out here goofing off. And I'm gonna go over some of the tile rigs, what bottom I'm looking for, and a little more in depth on tile deep dropping. So we've got our first bait going down. This is what I am fishing. Looks like absolutely nothing zoomed out. You'll see just some really little subtle humps. Um, if you watched my snowy, snowy grouper video, you saw the, the, um, the structure was a lot more substantial. Bigger rock piles, I'm fishing the top of it. Here I'm fishing the bottom side of these little humps. So we'll check a few spots and um, hopefully we catch some fish. First bait's down. So we just had a little tick on this one. The, the tile rigs, I like to lay them flat best deep dropper in all of New Mexico taught me that Matthew Conrad thank you <laughs> we got we're gonna try and fish two today without making a cluster here and a um, little bit of current about a knot of current you can open it back up just do what you were doing before lay it flat just let that one go the bottom I'm fishing is very low relief there's not a lot of rocks here so it's okay to lay them down. A lot of times you'll snag if you do that. That looked like a bite. There it is. Lock it up, see if he's. There you go. Hit him. Oh, nope. Drop back down. Just drop it straight back down flat. Yeah, these guys are funny. Okay. This one's got a 100 pound braid on it. See how much more of the current's taking it? That much more resistance. We'll check back in. This is a boring process. <laughs> yeah, I, Fish out! I saw a lot of guns. Fish out! Guys are <laughs> They're still fighting, which makes me think it's a tile. Oh yeah, big tile. <laughs> <laughs> big blue line. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Take that. I like this spot. Dude, it's pretty beautiful. <laughs> That's one of the bigger blue lines I've ever caught. Yeah. I got your thumbnail right here, bud. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's going to get the clicks. That's for, the, that's for OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> only, OnlyFans. So that is what we were looking for. Look at that tile. 
absolute monster blue line. The goldens get a lot bigger, but uh, we're mainly looking for blue lines today. Sorry, that's a little messy. I do know I like to bleed my fish, but that's what we came for. All right, let her rip. Just the one. <laughs> Sorry. So you, can, you can see the... See, see the edge I'm working here. I'm in 500. This is really shallow normally. Um, you can catch them anywhere from 500 out to 1,000. Um, quite frankly, the current is ripping the deeper you go today. I'm in a knot and a half inside here, so we're trying to avoid the bad current. So I'm fishing shallower. And I will show you my tile rig. This is for blue line. Um, if you remember my snowy, my snowy hooks were between 14 and 16 0. These are actually 11 0, and I'm just using little, smaller chunks of bait, but it's essentially the same rig. Just a long chicken rig. Normally fish about four hooks. Today I'm only fishing a four pounder because a little bit of a current, but not terrible current. And then with tiles, I like to put a weight up here. It just helps lay the rig down flat on the bottom. So that's what we're working with. Not enough? There it is. There it is. Yeah, baby. Line. Another big one too. Jesus. Yeah. He's got a little bit of uh, a little bit of barrel trauma there. All right, I'm filming. Will shut up. Look at that. I'm just kidding. Yeah, look at this spot. So this is our next spot. Again, very subtle. Looking just for tiles today. If you didn't know it was there, you would never know it was there. This is zoomed in. No, you can go down. Down she goes. Oh. Gonna be instant. We got a little black fin tuna swimming around. What? What? Get the jig out. Get that jig out, bro. What's wrong? No, I'm kidding. There, it looks like there's a little mark at that, like two. That, what he just painted out, that is fire. Look at it looks that. great. Beautiful. Probably won't get a single bite because it looks so good. <laughs> Catch that tuna, Will. A hey, still be on there. Something on there. That'd be a small one. Yeah. You can try. Try and hit him. There you go. Oh yeah. Fish on. Oh. Hey oh. Nice. Blue line tile. That is what we are looking for. Look at that gaff job. You want a job, James? <laughs> nice, it's a textbook. All right, bigger than the last one. Thank you. Hold this for a second, Will. So again, that is what we were looking for, tile fish. The odds of us catching a golden today aren't that great as we're fishing a little shallower and we're just not really in the area that they're in. Um, there's always, there's definitely is a chance, but this is essentially what we were looking for. Same family. It's a different color. I got a hook in my pair of shorts I can throw. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> it's a tile for dinner. Oh! You can't fake that. Tile fish, baby. Love it. There you go. Dude, through the mouth. Through the mouth. Don't hurt the meat. The tiles are biting. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and the way that they're pinned up against the mangroves oh. and the rocks, it really it's enjoyable. And then if they hit it on low tide, they got nowhere to go. So I probably should leave it open, right? Um, I would tighten up just a sec. The fact that the fish is still fighting on the way up lets me know it's normally a tile. The snowy groupers, the swim bladders will fill up and the fish will float a lot sooner. The tiles will fight pretty much the whole way up. And, and, nice tile. Line. Beautiful line. Look at that. Bruiser. Did it. Look at that, another beauty. Nice. Love it. 
loosen that dragon fly back up. They are biting. The tiles are biting. And again, I'll show you our rig. <laughs> Got that weight on there to keep that rig down flat. And what'd you have? Two bites missed? And Two look, bites missed, laid it back down and he ate the top one. Yeah. That shows you right there. Matt Conrad knows what he's talking about. Exactly. So I'm going to show you guys this spot one more time. Like, look, there's not, there's nothing there. It's just like you, if you ran over this, you would never know. So that's, this is why it holds fish. And that's zoomed in. So that's 474 up to 470. It's a four foot ledge ish. And it's got fish all over it. We dropping again. Oh God, got New York on the rod. <laughs> <laughs> look out. I bet he's still catching he's, been, he's been in charge of the rod for four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Already lost one weight and broke something. No, we still got the weight. We still got the weight. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was funny. Okay. All right, Will, no pressure. No pressure. We're already on. Already on the on. bottom. Just hit already the bottom. On. Just hit the bottom? Just hit him. Lord. Hit him. Oh, look at this. That's, <laughs> That's Literally on the bottom for two seconds. <laughs> See, we have to get rid of this weight. That's yeah, why that That's why I ripped it off. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you were right. Yeah. The Borgie. Borgie. Mm -hmm. Chocolate chip. Bring it up. The tail, yeah. We give New York one shot and he catches a Porgy. Too long. <laughs> on a tile spot. <laughs> this guy. Look at that thing. You're good. How do you feel? Feel Success good. Successful. Yeah. It's a nice. It's a Came nice... all the way to Key West from New York to catch a porgy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Almost dropped an F bomb there. I think. I think that's the. I think that's the humor I'm catch. I'm getting in it right now. Is you're from New York and you caught, you're the only one so far. It's got a porgy. <laughs> all right, we're gonna drop on that one more time. Miles. Behind us, yeah. So we've got one going down. I let it out as we were driving to get it out behind me. And then once I stop, this one's going straight down. So we're gonna try and try and fish two here successfully. Got a little bit of a current, like I said earlier. I think I'm repeating myself, but about a knot and a half a current-ish. So we're moving, but not crazy, crazy aggressive or anything. Oh, you got bites, literally, you got bites already. Lock it up. Look okay, at the bottom one, here we go. Dude, the second it hit the bottom. I know these electric reels are loud and annoying, but if you tried doing this in 400 feet more than once, you'd understand why we use them. Dude, we hit the porgy spot. <laughs> wow, the porgy oh, spot. Look at that. <laughs> the porgy master. Uh, drop yours down, James. See if we can hit this quick. Ugh. We caught a big tile here first drop and now the porgies are just tearing us apart, which is fine. Porgies are delicious. I'll take it all day. I put it there. Oh. Nice porgy. The porgy slayer. <laughs> of course, right when I turn it on. Blast jump. Sailfish jumping. Look at this. We are doing all right. This probably is the biggest blue line tile I've ever caught. Holy moly. But um, we got what we came for. So I'm going to turn the camera off for a little bit and kind of enjoy the day. And uh, if we catch anything big, I'll check back in. But I will see you in a bit. So we are back, obviously. Um, we're filleting some fish. I'm going to go more in depth on filleting the tile later. But Wanted to set the camera up. I know this is something that most of you guys probably don't get to see, but on a regular basis, we've got manatees and sharks and tarpon and all kinds of other stuff cruising around here. One of the 
sharks over here. Here we go. Here's Mr. Shark. Here's Mr. Shark. Gotta watch your fingers. <laughs> Gotta watch your fingers with the nurse sharks. They uh, when they eat, it's almost like a suction, more than it is a bite. Pretty cool stuff. We'll see you back at the house. Well, although the fillets are gorgeous on this fish, tilefish is absolutely one of my favorites. Um, it's not actually what I'm gonna show you for this meal. Probably won't eat this tonight, probably gonna do it tomorrow for lunch, but um, there's a lot, of, a lot of meat left on this fish. We talk about this all the time. I've done it with smaller fish, but wanted to demonstrate on something just a little bit bigger. I've got my rack. Kind of did a sloppy job on purpose. Or maybe I just did a sloppy job and I'm lying. I don't know. So take my serrated. Crack the spine there. And Will is actually going to take the head and the collar, and he's going to do something on his channel, Cooking with Clams, so go check that out. And this is the piece that I'm going to have for lunch tomorrow. I'm going to throw that on the barbecue just like that. I will see you tomorrow. So it is time for lunch. I've got this tile fish rack that I cleaned up yesterday. If you haven't had tile fish before, the meat, um, in my opinion, is a little different than most fish. It has, I'll say it, almost like a lobstery or crabby texture to it. Um, it's very unique. If you've never tried it, give it a try. Um, but I'm going to have this rack here for lunch. You can see there's quite a bit of meat left on these. I've showed you doing uh, smaller snappers and stuff, but the truth is you can do it with pretty much any size fish if you've got the space to cook it or you can break it down. And then here I've got teriyaki, a little bit of fish sauce, sriracha, and some soy sauce. I'm going to let that soak for about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. Not won't take long. There's not a whole lot of meat on here, so it'll soak up the flavor fairly quickly and we're gonna finish this up on the grill. So I'll see you here in a bit. Oh 
Welcome to my backyard if you haven't been here before. I've actually had a lot of requests about more backyard videos. I love it back here, it's beautiful. Um, but I'm not sure what you guys are talking about, whether you're talking about, I've done some spearing out of the back. I've done some swimming around the canals and stuff like that. I don't know what you're referring to, but let me know. Happy to do more backyard videos. They're easy and they save money. I'm gonna reheat these asparagus. I just seared those for a second, got a phone call that I had to take. So I've got my tile, grill is piping hot. And I added a little um, non-stick rack here. The grill tends to get a little sticky on fish, unless you're doing olive oil coating. I did mainly, it's mainly teriyaki, so that's probably gonna get kind of sticky. So I wanted to try it, like I said, with a non-stick rack. I need one of those uh, fish, I don't know what they're called. They pinch the fish on both sides, but that won't take long at a high heat. So we'll see what that looks like when she comes out. not take long you can see I overdid some of the uh, filet there where it's a little thinner but almost done uh oh asparagus going all over the place Ooh, hot Smell it? Can you smell it, Tipsy? We're gonna have lunch right there. So I've got a little squirt of lime to go here. Let me see if I can get this camera set up properly. There we go, that worked. Supposed to be begging? Hopefully you can see me. Well, the food rather. I don't really care if you see me. So again, teriyaki, sriracha, a lot of sriracha actually, I like spice. Teriyaki, sriracha, a little bit of fish sauce, and some soy sauce. I've done these racks before and I'll show you. Look at that chunk of meat. Like, that otherwise would have went in the water. Mm. That is all right. Like I said earlier, tile has, if you've never had tile fish, Tipsy's having a drink of water. If you've never had tile fish, it's, Almost like a main lobster -y texture meets fish. It's very unique. Kind of meaty for a fish. But you can see, I did kind of a crappy job filleting on purpose, but you can see just the amount of meat. But it's still on there. This is probably gonna be more than enough meal for me. So give it a try. You want a little piece? Come here. Other than that, that is all I've got. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate y'all's time as always. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to get to them again. If you guys want to see more backyard videos, I'm happy to do them. Maybe we'll do a whole episode back here or something. I don't know. Love it back here. I will see you guys on the next one. Enough rambling. Enjoy your evenings and thanks for tuning in.
later.